Welcome back to V's Fight Back. Today is a positive video. I am fully recommitting myself to recovery. It's breakfast time again. Um, my dad's just prepping my breakfast for me and he got me my spoon out that says, you've got this. Um, I've had just a challenging time recently, um, but it's a new day, getting up and we're keeping going and that's all I can do. And I spoke to mum this morning and she said, V, right now, you just gotta do the next right thing and just take it as it comes. So that's what we're doing. The next right thing, having breakfast. So we've got this. I just wanted to do a little explanation now. Um, we're currently having building work done to our house, which is a sensory nightmare, to be honest. Um, I've been finding it very difficult just banging, drilling for a lot of the day, um, but I'm trying to just do everything I can to lock it out or cope with it, and mum and dad have been really helpful We'll be going out quite a lot more. Um, but that's why halfway through this video we switched rooms because we were ousted from the kitchen. So we were eating in various rooms. Um, I managed to finish my Easter baking in the kitchen before we weren't allowed in there anymore. Um, so that was good. For my snack, I'm having one of the chocolate muffins and I absolutely love them and I've not had one for ages. So I thought today is a good day to have one again. The reason that I haven't had one of these for ages, apart from the fact I really like them, um, is because I was getting really stressed out about like the idea of making it and exactly what I feared happened happened in that it went really really wrong. I don't know what happened, mum helped me make it and it just didn't become a cake but I took a deep breath and thought you know what the most important thing is I just eat it so I did. I was having a bit of a challenging morning just with the amount of noise but I picked myself up, had a shower, did my hair, got changed because the sun was out and it was really nice and we had um, lunch and I had my hummus sandwich for lunch and then obviously the corner yogurt afterwards. Me and my parents sat down and spoke after lunch about everything and where we're going and it kind of jolted me into thinking about where I'm at, where I want to be and yeah, that's coming up with the update I'm about to put on. <laughs> Hello, I thought I'd do a little update. Um, obviously my last, well, recently things have been very, very challenging. Um, and yeah, I wanted to do an update because whilst nothing has changed necessarily in the last few weeks, um, I've been taking a lot of time to think about things and think about where I'm at and where I want to be. Um, and I think, I, I do think a few weeks ago I hit rock bottom. I really do. I think mentally I just, I was in a place that I just, everything was just so dark. Um, and... I did something different in that time and I reached out to people and I reminded myself that people are there and they care and I allowed myself to let them care. Um, and the last few weeks, nothing dramatic has happened. I have gone back to basics on everything or fundamentals. Um, you know, get up, have a shower, wash your hair. Um, clean your bedroom, put on new clothes, you know, all the things that I've been finding so difficult because I was in such, such a difficult place. And I feel like I've started to get some energy back again. And then I was thinking this week, I was thinking about my life. <laughs> I was thinking about who I am, what I want and what I don't want. And I think one of the things that led me being into that, in that dark place was burnout, um, but also an intense frustration and anger that I have with myself because I'm not living my best life and I'm not happy. And there's so many things I want to be doing and I can't do them because of where I'm at. Um, and this led me to get angry because I feel like, 
I'm going to change the language I was about to use because my mum pointed out I didn't choose any of this so I can't be angry with myself but I can be angry with the illness for taking the last nine months of my life and my happiness and I can take it back and it's just under a month until my birthday and I've decided that by my birthday I want to be out of the wheelchair, I want to be managing all of my hot dinners, I want to be able to go and have I don't know like a donut on my birthday or be able to go out for a meal out on my birthday or be able to go up to London and have the energy to do that and not be in a wheelchair. I want to do that and I'm going to do that. And I've got under a month, just under a month until my birthday. And I'm not gonna sit here and let things keep going as they are. I'm gonna go back to uni in September and I'm gonna get better from this. And I know that there's a lot that needs to change um, but me and my parents did something last night and we wrote out my life in six months if nothing changes, if that was the wind closing the door, and my life in six months if I keep choosing recovery and it's pretty obvious which one, which one I want. So we're taking a deep breath, we've had a shower, the sun's out and we're going to go again and I'm gonna get there for my birthday. I'm gonna get out the wheelchair for my birthday and I'm gonna be able to have a good day. I'm gonna have fun and I'm gonna keep getting better and I'm gonna get back to uni and I'm gonna do it. Yes, I fell over, but I'm standing back up again and that's what matters. And we're gonna get feedback for good this time. We are. It is currently Easter day and I had a different snack planned, but I thought it's Easter day. It's a day to be having chocolate. So I'm going to have a crunchy bar and I've not had a crunchy bar since January. Um, so today is a good day to have a crunchy bar again. I only tried a crunchy bar for the first time, I think one or two years ago. Um, I was always such a fussy eater as a child and anything that had like a different texture and I wouldn't even go near um, but now they're one of my favourite chocolates and yeah I wanted to do it, it was Easter day, I wanted to have the chocolate and so I did it and I felt quite proud of myself for it. Then I had cuddles with my nephew um, and then me and mum went on my very short walk. For dinner, mum made me one of my favourite combinations. Um, we had sausages and bulgur wheat. And as always now, everything was cooked by her. Measured, well, it wasn't measured, that's the point. Um, not weighed, not measured. Um, and served by mum and then I had my yoghurt straight afterwards. After dinner me mum and dad looked at the six month plan thing again where if things change versus if they don't and I think we all realised that probably the biggest key fundamental thing that needs to change for me to get to that better six months is I need to gain weight. Um, I need to get my physical health back into a better place. So me and mum decided this dress I got pre-lockdown and I absolutely love it um, but it doesn't fit very well so me and mum said right we're gonna see it now and then I'll explain in the next video coming up. I am making the commitment to myself that next time I put on this beautiful dress it will fit me and I'll be healthy. I think in making that commitment to myself it gave me the reassurance that I needed that I'm doing the right thing um, then I had cuddles with Hugo, did more of my paint by numbers, um, then I had my night snack. And I wanted to finish the first part of this video, or this day, on this quote, and then I put a little bit of filming on from the next day too. 
breakfast time again. Um, today I am going to have Weet Vix because I've not had it for a week um, again and it's one of my favourite breakfasts so bringing it back today and I told my mum last night I was like I'm having Weet Vix tomorrow so she's going to help me get it all out um, and she got me my bowl out that says be brave um, and she also got me my spoon that says be brave so we've got this. Also, I am so wrapped up today. I'm absolutely freezing. I've got like four pairs of pajamas on and then my big fluffy jumper. I've got four pairs of socks on. I just can't get warm. So thankfully we were allowed back in the kitchen for breakfast on this day. Um, yeah, the next few videos are very sporadic as to the locations of where we're eating. Um, it's something I'm finding very challenging and I'm saying it in quite a humour driven way but um, no, I find movement around food and noise very difficult so it's, it's hard right now but just keeping on going with it, that's all I can do. The sun had come out again this day, it was a really really nice pretty day and so I wanted it to be positive. Um, my morning snack was one of my favourite Quest bars, the crispy cookies and cream one. Um, I genuinely think I had one of these every single day for the last three or four weeks. But that's okay, you're allowed to eat things that you like. This was my little outfit for the day. Um, and then for lunch I had a hummus and falafel sandwich and we ate outside, um, not because of building work but because it was a nice day. Um, I find eating outside really really challenging. I get really affected by like all the, I guess they're like sensory things but like when the wind blows and the wind blows your hair and then there's noises and I, yeah, I, I find it hard but mum and dad wanted to eat outside and of course they're more than entitled to eat outside and so yeah we ate outside I got cold which is why I've got my cardi on but I'm glad I did it so this is where I stopped filming for this day and I wanted to finish on this quote um yeah obviously this video has been positive and um obviously it's taken me a few days to edit it so I know that there's another exciting video coming out soon I just need to edit that and then I'll post it um but yeah thank you for the continued support again and a quick reminder to press subscribe to my channel.